All right, thanks, guys. Happy Monday to you. We're 6-3 and three in our last nine premium selections on Patreon. We're also hitting at 75% in our last 15 plays on that website. We're 62% in our last 13 NFL package plays. We are currently hitting at 65% for the entire college football season. For more information, go to patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, we got ourselves a nice little slate of NHL action, so let's go ahead and dive into it, beginning with the Penguins taking on the Bruins, 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Beantown. The Bruins are minus 160, totals at 6. Not a whole lot of movement on this total here. We did see a nickel fade of Boston in the early wagering. The Bruins open to $1.65, down to $160, totals at 6. 59% are leaning Boston, 69% shaded toward the over. Right now, Pittsburgh is plus 145 on the money line. Boston plus 160, laying the goal and a half. We have Matt Murray between the pipes for Pittsburgh. Jaroslav Halak for Boston. And if we like Murray in this matchup here, he is 7-3-1 on the year. 217 goals against, 9-2-4 save percentage. Pittsburgh is 8-5-1 overall for the year. 3-2 on the road. They're in the top 10 in scoring, top 5 in goals allowed. Gensel's got 7 goals, 6 assists, 13 points for the Pens. Obviously, Sydney, another good, strong start for him. 17 points on the year, 12 assists. And Dumoulin is plus 11 for the Penguins thus far on the season. Now, uh, as far as Boston's concerned, David Backus is listed as questionable for tonight's action. Uh, Nordstrom and Ritchie, both questionable as well. When it comes to the total, Boston is 7-5-1 and one to the over on the year. Pittsburgh, 80% to the over in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Boston. If you're into historical trends, I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Pittsburgh, plus one and a half, and the over six goals in that game. Next matchup, Senators, Rangers, 7 o'clock, New York. The Rangers are minus 165, totals at six and a half. Now, we haven't seen a whole lot of movement on this total but we did see a 20-cent fade of New York in the early wagering. The Rangers open $1.85 all the way down to $1.65. Totals at 6.5. 71% of the consensus are leaning Rangers. 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Senators are plus 145 on the money line. The Rangers plus $1.45 laying the goal and a half. We have Anders Nielsen for the Senators. Alex Gorgiev for the Rangers. Now, if you like Gorgiev in this matchup here, He's 3-2 and two on the year, 2-2-7 two, two, goals against, 9-3-3 three, three save percentage. Nilsson on the other side for Ottawa, just 1-3 on the year, 3-3-6 three, three, goals against. The Senators really struggling in the early going here, just 3-8-1 overall for the year. They're winless on the road as well, 0-5 straight up on the road. They're in last place in the Atlantic Division, just 7 points on the season, and they are 15 points back of first place. Now, Ottawa ranks in the bottom 10 in scoring. They're also in the bottom five in defensive shots allowed. Uh, Anisimov and White are still on the IR, and Saborin uh, is doubtful for tonight's action. Now, the Rangers on the other side, three and one straight up in their last four. Uh, their defense allowed just two goals total in those last couple of games. Art Panarin has five goals, six assists, 11 points for the Rangers. Uh, Stromi is leading the charge with seven assists as well. The Rangers are five and two straight up in their last seven Head-to-head -head matchups with Ottawa at Madison Square Garden. Now, total-wise, Ottawa's 60% to the over on the road. I'm going to lean Rangers minus a buck 65 in the over six and a half in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Monday's NHL action. But before we go ahead and dive into some more of that, I just want to quickly uh, remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Page. We're 6-3 and three in our last nine premium selections on that site. We're also hitting at 75% in our last 15. We're 62% in our last 13 NFL package plays. And we're hitting 65% for the entire college football season on patreon.com slash page. We do daily plays on that website. We have a bunch of different tiers, memberships, and packages beginning at just $1.99 per month. You can also access my current record for free right on the homepage. All you got to do is click the link in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and dive into our next two matchups. And we're going to uh, go ahead and take a look at the Predators taking on the Red Wings. 730 Eastern puck drop in Detroit. The Predators are minus 190, totals at 6. Saw a 10-cent move toward Nashville. No movement on the total as of yet. 
The Predators open a dollar eighty up to one ninety. Totals at six. Seventy six percent are leaning Nashville. Sixty five percent shaded toward the over. Right now, Detroit is plus a dollar sixty five on the money line. Nashville plus a buck thirty, laying the goal and a half. With Pecorine for the Predators, Jimmy Howard for the Red Wings. Howard's just two and six on the year with a three six seven uh, goals against and an eight nine eight save percentage. Pecorine on the other side, 7-0-2 oh, on the year, 219 goals against, 920 save percentage. The Red Wings just 4-10-1 overall for the year, 7th place in the Atlantic Division, 9 points total. They are 13 points back of first place. Detroit just 1-9 straight up in their last 10. Bottom 5 in scoring, bottom 5 in goals allowed. Now Nashville on the other side, completely different story. They rank in the top 3 in scoring, top 5 in shots allowed. They're 8-4-2 overall for the year. Third place in the Central Division. And they're just three points back of first place in that division. They're led by Nick Bonino. Seven goals a game. 11 points, four assists. Ellis and Josie have 14 points on the year as well. They're the team leaders for Nashville. And Ekholm is plus 10 on the year and plus minus. Now total-wise, Nashville, 9-5 to the over for the season. 75% to the over when traveling. Detroit 4 and 3 to the over at home. I'm going to lean Nashville minus $1.90 in the over six goals in that game. All right, next and final matchup for the show, it is going to be Coyotes, Oilers, 9 o'clock Edmonton. The Oilers are minus 120, totals 5.5. Saw a 10 point fade, I'm sorry, a 10 cent fade of Edmonton. No movement on the total as of yet. The Oilers open $1.30 down to 120, totals 5.5. 56% are leaning Edmonton, 77% shaded toward the under. Right now, Arizona's catching even money on the money line. Edmonton plus 210, laying the goal and a half. We have Darcy Kemper for Arizona, Mike Smith for Edmonton. Smith is 5-3-1 on the year, 212 goals against, 931 save percentage. Edmonton's 10-4-1 overall for the year. First place in the Pacific Division. They've got 21 points on the season. They're 5-1 straight up at home. They rank in the top 10 in home scoring. They're also in the top 10 in goals allowed. Leon Dreisaitl, he's been awesome this year. He's got 26 points total, 13 goals, 13 assists. Uh, James Neal has also been great. He's got 11 goals on the year, 13 points total. And Connor McDavid, plus 8 in the plus-minus differential. He's got 23 points himself, 17 assists for Connor McDavid on the season. Now, Arizona on the other side, just 19th in scoring on average per game. Uh, their offense is scoring just 2.3 goals in their last three on average per game. They're just three and eight straight up in their last 11, taking on the Oilers. And when it comes to the total, Edmonton is 67% to the over at home. I'm going to lean toward the home favorite in this one. Give me the Oilers, minus 120, and the over, five and a half in that game. All right, let's go ahead and slide into our quick pick recap, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. I like it, Ed. Ed. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I like Edmonton minus 120 and the over five and a half. I like Nashville minus $1.90 over six goals. Don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. I like Pittsburgh plus one and a half over six goals. And last but certainly not least, I like the Rangers minus 165 over six and a half. All right, guys, let's go ahead and slide into our shout outs. Once again, brought to you by my website. Link for that site is in the description section below. Shout out to Counter Cousins, Sammy Elio, Jer Bear, Stanislaus Kabamba, Ulysses Hayes, Cedric Holt, Vernon Williard, Rick Cruz, Mrs. Jones, Melvin Johnson, The Mac, Niji Chris, Drew Churchill, Saw Sensei, Master Drip Lord, Square 707, Steam PS4, Munchy Crunchy, Nell God 206, William Navarrete, and last but certainly not least, gotta give a shout out to my man, East Up Lou. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. We are 6-3 and three in our last nine premium selections on that site. It's going to put us at 75% in our last 15. We're also hitting at 62% in our last 13 NFL package plays. And we're hitting at 65% for the entire college football season. We do daily plays on that site. We have a bunch of different tiers, memberships, and packages beginning at just $1.99 per month. You can also check out my current record for absolutely free right on the homepage. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. But most importantly, guys, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. I certainly enjoy producing it for you 
each and every day, day in and day out. Uh, we are certainly uh, close to 365 days a year that we do this. We very rarely uh, miss a day. Hell, when I was on my honeymoon a couple months ago, we even went live down there a few days. So we don't miss many days here. Uh, consistency is key, and uh, I love doing it, and I love engaging with you guys each and every day. So once again, thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page.